What up? Big Herc 916. Positivity, motivation, never settle for average. You know how we do it over here. Give it to you raw and uncut. Real, keep you laced up, and always excel to your highest. Pick you up some merch at BigHerc916.com. What do you really think it takes for someone to be quote unquote mainstream? And what is mainstream? It's mainstream when you're on all of their platforms at the top, you're in all the the chat rooms, people are trending you, you're considered the hot topic. Is that considered mainstream? When a national platform gives you a microphone, but you speak what they want you to say, is that mainstream? Or is that being mainstreamed? Meaning, are you being used as a conduit to promote, propagate somebody else's mainstream? You, you always, you know, hear these success stories and you see people who have made it and some people who have made it they seem just to be the happiest people very positive um, you know, very outgoing you know they they have a, a glow about themselves they don't um, appear to be in and out of rehab or have any really you know bad habits that compromise them as a person you know they stay out of a lot of the gossip stuff they don't really they don't really even socialize in the mainstream but they've they've made it and then you see some people who are mainstream who are always into shit you know whether it's you know DUIs, you know, getting caught with drugs, you know, getting high, rehab, um, you know, um, domestic issues, uh, relationship stuff, just problems, drama. Why you think is that? If you are someone who has what 99% of the people on the earth want, fame and money, why are you effing up so much why do you think they're effing up why do you think that they are miserable I mean if you had more money than you could spend and you had all these different options at your fingertips why would you spend it in a hotel somewhere getting high or drinking till you passed out or you know driving drunk why would you do stupid stuff man I mean it doesn't make any sense Unless you're trying to mask pain, hide from something, cover up something. You know, most people who get involved in, 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 in drugs at that level or substance abuse who have success, who, who they're not dealing with, um, you know, depression from, from, you know, not being financially inadequate or just, you know, uh, not having resources they're covering up other things kind of makes you wonder see when the pain becomes so great and you can't look at yourself in the mirror you want to find a way to make that pain go away because dealing with it consciously having to work through that and, and actually take responsibility it's hard for a lot of people man especially 
if you have went through the mainstream and you've given something up in return. I'm not saying everybody's giving up something because you don't have everybody on drugs, but you just look at a lot of the 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 the, the tragedies or the drama or just the, some of the stuff that people you would think should have it so easy in life because they've gotten there that now they can enjoy. You wonder why they're not enjoying. You know, God prepares us for certain things. And sometimes you have to say no before you can say yes. And you may have to say no more times than you say yes to reach that 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 higher self and you know a lot of people when they get to what they consider mainstream it ain't what they think it is and you know mainstream could be you know somebody who's you know popular on IG you got all these followers maybe it's Instagram maybe it's YouTube Maybe it's, you know, regular movies. Maybe it's an artist, a musician. But at the end of the day, can you look in the mirror and be happy with yourself? Some people think money is the end all. It gives you a lot of resources. But if it's a, a dark, dark, hole inside of you in exchange for that money you sold your soul man was it worth it some people don't care they'll sell their soul and you'll see them they they go all out and then they go far to one direction and become super religious because of the guilt and because they're trying to seek redemption Not to say that some people don't just go to religion because they want to better themselves or spirituality, but a lot of a lot of these people you see they've they've dealt with some serious some serious issues, man. Some deep dark things that they're trying to uh, come back from, and um, just know that. Sometimes what you are willing to sacrifice yourself for, it may not really be worth it. And by mainstream, I'm not just talking about Hollywood. I'm talking about the hood, the streets, society. See, to go mainstream, you might have put down a lick, got away with it. Or so you thought, but the person you licked, they laying in the cut. So once you get all nice and relaxed, they coming to split your wig, man. Or you got away with a different kind of lick. Maybe you hit a spot. And everything seemed to go as planned. But a year or two later, the popos put together the evidence. And now you're caught up with multiple co defendants. And, uh, yeah, you're looking at doing some time. But you were mainstream, man. You were the man in the hood. You had the sack, you were balling, went and bought that new, that new Rari, you know. Maybe you got that, that Hellcat. You were stunting. See, you don't have to just be mainstream in Hollywood. You can be mainstream in the hood. There's a lot of things that go down in the hood, you know. Girls, you know, having them set up, set up ballers and robbing a plug and all type of riffraff. You guys know. You you guys participate. You see it. 
you know, getting this dude for his Roly or Patek or, you know, whatever the case may be, licking somebody for, you know, 100 Ps. It all seems good, man, because now it's mainstream. And you know, word travels. But that ain't the mainstream you want. That ain't the mainstream that you can relax and not have to look over your shoulder. See, anytime you're out there doing that type of mainstream, where you done did something to the ops, or you done put in some work, it could be years later. Just be, just be knowledgeable of that before you make those choices, man. So, mainstream has a lot of different faces. You thinking um, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, uh, you know, Hollywood, you know, uh, hip hop industry. Nah, there's a lot of other mainstreams out there. I've done some stupid stuff, some crazy stuff to try to get some paper, man. And I'm telling you, <laughs> if I would have probably thought about it for a, a couple seconds more, I would have made different choices. Mainstream ain't what it all is cracked out to be sometimes. If you want to be mainstream, be mainstream for yourself. Be mainstream from your heart. And you can still have the blessings. You'll still be best. God will still bless you with whatever it is you want. You know, the universe, God, you know, um, the infinite one. But at least you know that your soul still intact. See, this is just a shell. This is a shell, almost like how a concert hall entertains, or a theater entertains concerts, rock bands, and, you know, hip hop bands, acts, and whatever. Your 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 body, your shell is putting on a show. It's all about what show you want to put on. And how you want that show to play out. And will you be able to live with that show? We have so much power over our reality. And most of you have no idea the extent. Because you just kind of go with the flow. You don't question and you think because maybe somebody else is in a position you want to be in. If they had to do whatever they had to do to get there, if you do it, you know, well, I'm just following in their footsteps. Maybe you don't want to follow in their footsteps at the end of the day. If you were to hear that person's story, maybe they would tell you those were the wrong footsteps. So just think about your choices, man. And when you look up to these people, these people you idolize, these people you worship, these people you think they got the best lives and everything is so gravy for them and they got it made. If you only knew, man, if you only knew, a lot of that is an illusion. It ain't what you think it is. There's a lot more to it. At the end of the day, find happiness with himself first. Find a piece of, 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 uh, a piece of balance, a piece of, I would say a piece of, uh, meaning in your purpose before you seek that, which just overwhelms you with materialism. Just a little food for thought, man, because mainstream, I know, you know, whether you see it in the hip hop, whether you see it in acting, you, you've seen how, you know, you, you, you've seen all this stuff, man, with, you know, a lot of these actresses that went through a lot of the male actors with a lot of these hip hop artists, the, you know, people being taken advantage of. And then you've seen people, you know, you hear about certain entertainers, the people, why they would, you know, commit suicide or you hooked on pills and do this and that. 
Dude, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, man. You know, but service level, you think, man, that's that's what I want. I, If I could just have that, it would change my life. It doesn't necessarily change your life, man, if you're in that exotic car. You got that hot chick who then stole your soul. You look good in photo ops, but you're just miserable. Vampires sucking you dry. All these people around you just draining you, you know. <laughs> all you are are a vessel for them to take all your, your energy, your nutrients. Be careful, man, what you ask for and how you ask for it. And uh, be wise on your journey. Because sometimes mainstream ain't what you think it is. You're not the average motherfucker. So, I got some merch for you. Never settle for average. Because we ain't the average motherfuckers. Tank tops. T-shirts. Never settle for average. Because we ain't the average motherfuckers. Got them hats. Got them hats, man. BigKirk916.com Pick you up some merch. Limited, very limited. I'm not going to have a bunch of these because there's only a limited edition of people who ain't the average motherfuckers. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.